construct a triangle when you're given only the angles. So you will need a protractor. So we are given the angles A is equal to 50 degrees, B is equal to 65 degrees, and C is also 65 degrees. So we're gonna start by drawing a line. We don't know how long this line needs to be, so we'll just draw a straight line using the flat edge of our protractor right here on the bottom. I'll make it dark so you can see. And we're gonna label A and B. That's the start of our triangle. Now angle A has to be 50 degrees, so we put the protractor right in the edge, right at the very corner, and we know how to make an angle, so we put a little line here, and that's gonna be 50 degrees. We don't know how long this line has to be, so we're gonna draw it a little bit more faint, a little lighter to start, so that we can erase after if we need to. We're gonna label that 50 degrees, so angle A is done. Now we need to do angle B. Put the protractor right at the edge, line it up straight. Here we're gonna use the outside numbers. Look for 65, put a notch, and use the straight bottom part of your protractor to connect. You're gonna to wanna to draw this line all the way until it meets the first line. We can double check. Yes, 65 degrees. And we can make this line a little thicker to where they meet. We're gonna erase this additional line, we don't need it. Now, we know that a triangle's angles equal 180 degrees, so this should equal 65 degrees. But we can double check by spinning our paper, measuring it, and we can see it's exactly 65 degrees. And that's how you draw a triangle when you're given the angle. Let's try another one. This time we have triangle E, F, G. We know that E is equal to 40 degrees. We know that angle F is equal to 80 degrees. And we don't know what angle G is equal to. How can we figure that out? Well, we know that the, all of the angles around a triangle have a sum of 100 and 80 degrees. So we can use subtraction, 180 minus 40 minus 80, okay? And we're gonna end up with 60. So angle G is gonna be 60 degrees and we can check that once we're drawing our shape. So the first thing we're going to do is start with a straight line right here. They don't specify the length, so we'll just draw our line there. And let's start with angle E. It needs to be 40 degrees. We draw just like any other angle, line up our protractor. In this case, we're going to use the inside numbers, 40. Now remember, we don't know how long this line's gonna be, so we're gonna draw it a little bit light to start. That way we can erase it later. This is gonna be 40 degrees. Next, we have angle F. Let's call this F. <coughs> it needs to be 80 degrees. So we line up our protractor and 80 degrees. We're gonna use our, ins, or our outside of the protractor here because this starts at zero, 80 degrees, put a little notch. And we're gonna to need to connect these lines. You can see that these lines aren't gonna meet. So I actually need to make this a little bit longer, our faint line before. That way they'll meet. Try again, line it up, 80 degrees is going to be right here. So we connect those. This is an 80 degree angle. You can double check again, 80 degrees. Now this last one we calculated before, it should be 60. Let's double check. Find it easiest to slide the paper around. Let's see, we are right, 60 degrees. So right here, we're gonna write 60 degrees. And that's all you have to do. Here's how you will draw a triangle if you're given the angles and the sides. So this triangle is going to be called triangle um, PQR. 
So we're gonna start by drawing a straight line at the bottom using one of the lengths. We're gonna use the bigger one to start just cause it's easier, six centimeters. So I'm gonna draw a straight line on my ruler, six centimeters and that line is called PR. So I'm gonna put PR. Next, I need to find out the angle of P. I need to draw a 100 degree angle. So I'm gonna put my protractor on P. Oh, first I'm gonna label this six centimeters so I don't forget. I'm gonna put my protractor, line it up. We can see that we're gonna use the inside numbers of our protractor, 100 degrees. So right here, I'm gonna put a little notch, a small little line here. There's a requirement for this line. It's going to be five centimeters. So rather than draw this line here with the bottom of my protractor, I'm gonna use a ruler. I'm gonna line it up five centimeters and line it up where that dot will be. And I can see the dot is quite a little bit more than five centimeters. So I'm not gonna draw it the whole way. Okay, that is five centimeters. This is a hundred degree angle and I'm gonna erase this extra part. So that is line P, Q, five centimeters. Angle P is a hundred degrees and they didn't specify how long this line will be, but uh, we'll be able to connect the two points and everyone who draws it will always get the same distance between these lines. Connect it right there. And let's measure it. It is about 8.5 centimeters and we're gonna measure our angles as well. Angle R is equal to 35 degrees and angle Q, let's turn our paper. Remember all the angles need to add up to 180 degrees. We're looking at the inside numbers, it has to be 45 degrees. Now we can check 100 plus 45 plus 35. That is equal to 180 degrees. So we know that that is correct. That's how you construct a triangle when you know length and angle. Okay, this time we have triangle B, C, D. We know the side length of B and C is 5.7 centimeters. Angle B is 40 degrees and angle C is 100 degrees. So we always wanna start with the length of the line. So we need our ruler and we're gonna draw a line that is 5.7 centimeters. Okay, and that line is called B, C and we're gonna label it as such. Next, we wanna start with Either angle, doesn't actually matter. I prefer to start with the larger one. So angle C is 100 degrees. We're gonna line it up on our protractor. We're starting with our outside numbers. It's an obtuse angle, 100 degrees. And I'm gonna draw this line faint, so light, because I don't know how long this line is. We can erase it if it's too long after. So that is 100 degrees. Angle B is 40 degrees. We're gonna line it up. Our zero is here, so we look at the inside numbers. 40, put a notch, and we want to connect. Okay, and we're gonna connect until we meet the 100 degree line. Okay, we can double check. That is a 40 degree angle. And there we go. Now we can darken this line and we want to erase our extra space and we want to check how many degrees this is well we know a total triangle is 180 degrees for taking away 100 and 40 we should be left with 40 degrees so let's check it line it up yes it is 40 degrees so we would call that angle D and that's going to be 40 degrees then we can measure the length of our other two lines so that we know and this is 5.7 centimeters. And this one is, let's see, 8.8 .8 centimeters. We've got triangle with two matching sides and matching angles. That's triangle B, C, D.